All right, guys, today's gonna be a vert day. We're gonna go hit some vert and make it happen. Here come the dogs. Vert, we're getting in vert today. Go get some. So I'm a big fan of the vert sessions. Up and down, I'm going down right now. And down is key too. Out here, about 85 or so. A little Vespa, a little salt. Good to go. So you know, sometimes people are really concerned about heart rate and they just track it every moment. I would advise against that. Sometimes in training sessions, you just gotta let it rip and then analyze it afterwards and then adjust. Here we go, guys. A little free water source here. You gotta just do the pump. need that out here too uh, on any day but uh, nice little cool down session got some vert in now I'm gonna head him back hit it. final stretch all right guys, there you have it. That was uh, 12, a little over 12 miles in the bag. Did a three and a half uh, out to the hill and hit the vert um, for about five-ish miles and then three and a half back in. That completed the run. So good little vert session. Uh, I love vert sessions. Um, I think they're key in any training program. Doing all different types of training with vert whether it's sprinting, whether it's just slow and steady, practicing downhills, hitting it on the uphills. I think it's uh, awesome for training. Cardio, legs, knees, shins, hamstrings, hips, it's all good. Gonna finish it up with a little bit of chest and um, I should finish it off. So yeah, that concludes uh, the workout hit. Again, 12 mile run, flats, flat out to the hill. Hit the hill, was doing vert, a vert session. Hit about, uh, I don't know, 1300 feet of vert. Pretty good, pretty consistent uh, up and down. And then again, flat back in. But huge fan of hill workouts. You know, if you do the longer intervals, anything from three minutes up, you're really building that power, endurance, strength. You know, your heart work rate doesn't get jacked up if, you, if you're keeping it the intensity a little bit lower, but just keeping it consistent so you can last um, that whole interval. Um, that's good. Even if even if you're going down and back, you're still keeping the intensity a little bit down. Uh, Mid-range, you know, you're going 30 seconds to a minute and a half. 
you can obviously kick up the intensity a little bit more. That's great uh, VO2 max training. Again, you're also getting power and endurance. I love that, that's a sweet spot. Again, if for the short stuff, anything up to 30 seconds, you're doing sprints. Also really good for uh, VO2 max. And again, hills are amazing because you can kind of get the same bang for your buck with a lot less potential for injury than if you're sprinting on flats. Look at the science out there. I could link uh, some of the articles down below in the description, but it's a great way to train cardiovascular or endurance, muscle endurance, power, all that good stuff, while also preventing injury. So, huge fan of the vert. Then afterwards, hit the weights, hit some chest, made it short since I was doing vert. And that's the workout today, guys. I'll put the workout in the description below. Yeah, that'll do it. Keep hitting it hard, and we'll see you next time. I'm out.